Hey, it's time at Dish with D and Slim. That's me, that's him. Hey, it's time for five days of flatbreads. I know, five days of lunch. I went on a quest to do five days of flatbread lunches last week and I thought I'd share them with you. Every one was better than the next. Oh, where do you see them? And again, it's getting creative with it with a vehicle. You know, you have the flatbread. What could you put on it? What could you do differently with it? It's just a vehicle for your food. And the last one was, I think, in my opinion, epic. They all were epic. I mean, oh my God, there were so many good ones. But, oh, wait do you see them. They were all delicious, all low in point. Let's bring that up. How low in point were they? Most of them were under three points or around three points. So for a lunch, phenomenal. But you absolutely can embellish them or you can think of on your own. This is just giving you an idea. So I'd first like to thank Atoria Family Bakery for gifting me with these lavash breads. They're fantastic. And they have gifted you with 15% off on their website. I have all that linked below. I think it's D15. Also, I would check out their website and look at the product locator and see if you can find them locally because some places I know some Lidl's have them, so some Sprouts have them, so they might be in your local area. So I, I would say check out that before if you, if you decide, because sometimes you have to order in bulk and sometimes you don't need all that, but they freeze fantastic. Mine are in the freezer right now. I take out a pack and I leave it in the fridge and they're perfect. And they have pizza, little mini pizza crusts now. It's and they have a roasted red pepper one that's new that I haven't had. So I've been so happy with them. So I love them. I love their flatbread. I will tell you, taste-wise, they are better than Joseph's. Yeah, but I'm not just saying that. I've often, I've said it before. Their flavor of their lavash is better than Joseph's. And they have whole grain. They have a cauliflower coconut. They have a roasted red pepper. I did a whole... Um, unboxing with them they're fantastic very nice company very family owned and operated i absolutely adore them so that'll be linked down below so without further ado let us roll that five days of flatbreads you're welcome first flatbread i have one of these atoria's mini whole grain flatbreads for one point on my tray i have a tablespoon or so of my homemade marinara that is up on my channel dish with d on my recipe blog dish with d and i'm going to put one point's worth which i chopped of turkey pepperoni there's 10 slices with this brand each brand is different you have to figure out what works for you and i think chopping it just makes it easier to eat and spreads it out it makes it look like it's a little bit more there we go spread that out okay and we get our light mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's. And we know two points for one ounce, which is a quick cup. Grab my measuring cup. I'm going to grab my cheese. And wherever I drop on the floor, Bailey's going to help himself too. Because that's where we roll around here. This sprinkle or two points worth of cheese. You could use one point and be perfectly happy, but I'm fine with two. Spread that out. Now you could put chopped onion, bell pepper, olives. I'm just doing this. I'm going to put it in my toaster oven. I'm going to toast it up. She baked for about five minutes in the toaster oven. I used the toaster oven, so she bakes a lot quicker in there. So you can make it as done for as little as you like. I like a little chart on the edge, so. This for me is one point for my flatbread, one point for my pepperoni, two points for my cheese. This is a four point flatbread. Absolutely, I should have filled it with veggies. I just didn't feel like cutting an onion or a pepper. I just was lazy. But this is my breakfast, my first flatbread of the week. Thank you, Torias. You can get D15, we'll get you 15% off from their website. I will have everything linked below if you're interested in ordering from them. They do have amazing flatbread, I will tell you that. But look how good this looks. All right, flatbread day two is going to be a little bit of an Asian one, I'm thinking, of what I have around the house. So we're going to take our Atoria's mini lavash, whole grain, for one point. We're going to toast it in our toaster oven, and then we're going to top it. Like yesterday, we topped it, then we toasted it. But I think I want my toppings to be not hot. So I'm going to toast my flatbread in my toaster oven. 
just going to, I'm going to put mine on bake. So that's what I'm going to do. It's like 400 degrees. I'm going to bake it for a couple of minutes and I'm going to chop up my toppings. All right, we have our toasted flatbread. Like I said, it was only about a minute or two. You just have to keep your eye on it. And I'm going to top it with some of this G. Hughes sugar-free sweet chili. Two tablespoons is five calories and zero points, right? Was I correct? Yes. That's what I'm going to put. Again, you could put any toppings. You know, I was going to do barbecue sauce, but I think I got rid of my barbecue sauce when I got rid of the fridge. So, but this actually sounds even a little bit better. Sounds like a little bit of, you know, a little Asian flair going on. Spread that around. Oh, yeah. And I have some chicken and some vegetables. Again, pop whatever you have around. These are going to be what? Laying around in my place. I got some onion and some jalapeno, fresh jalapeno, and some chicken. So, we're gonna, so far, so I have taken out. That's a big piece. Don't mind if I do. There's no real recipe for this. This is just topping with what you have around your house. An onion. I had jalapeno. I had some chicken. And I have a few other things. Wait till you see. Spread that out evenly. Okay. I have leftover corn. So, you know, you don't have to put a lot. Just a little dabble, do you? Again, you could load this however you want. Just have it evenly approached. And guess what else I have left over? Oh, there. Black beans! Yay! And just a sprinkling of black beans. How fun is this? See how creative you can get with lunch? Flatbread is a great base and you can just have at it. Look at that. They're being really pretty. I mean, come on. <laughs> now you could put cheese if you want. Uh, you know me, I, I'm not a cheese person, especially when it gets lost on something like this. I don't have my cheese on the side. I mean, I may, I may do that. I may have, I have some cucumbers I need to use up. So we're going to have cucumbers and ranch or creamy Italian dip that I prepped. If you didn't see my, I think it was a weekend video. I just prepped some creamy Italian. So we're going to just cut these up. See, they're getting a little bit really weird. I cut them off this one. And I'm going to have some little ranch dip with that. So how fun is that? And I may have a string cheese on the side. I'd rather enjoy my string cheese or my baby bell or my piece of cheese on the side rather than muddle it in here and count points for it or calories because it just kind of gets muddled in here. So that is flatbread number two for lunch today. Look how good does this look. I mean, we can put a little bit of freshly cracked back. If you're not freshly cracking your black pepper, don't be putting it on. Because if you're just kidding, if you're shaking your black pepper, you ain't getting nothing, babe. We'll do a little garlic and herb because I got this from the Dollar Tree. A little garlic. Oh, there we go. So, all right, I'm going to go enjoy this. This is amazing. Slim agrees. Oh my gosh. It is, listen. Oh my gosh. The sweet chili, the chicken, the onion, the corn and the black beans, and that ranch. This is amazing. You could make such good food with just simple things you have in your pantry or your, you know, leftovers from the night before. This is amazing. Really good. It's going to be a fun week of food. Already is. It's only day two. <laughs> Time for another day of flatbread. So I have the Atoria Mini Whole Grain Lavash for one point. I toasted it up. You can see it's a little bit. Perfect. I'm gonna throw some mustard on this. If I had Thousand Island, maybe I'd use it, but I'm just gonna use the mustard. Since mustard is zero points, I could be very liberal. 
and then we just spread it on. It's a fun way to have food is on thing. All right, I'm going to put my one ounce of Hillshire's pastrami. It is one point. I weighed it out just to make sure. I'm going to tear it so it's easily, you know when you bite stuff, you always hate when you pulls like half the thing off. So it might be even better to chop it next time, but this will be fine for today. Alrighty. It's a lot of pastrami for a point. Nikki Gets Fit has me hooked on this stuff. It's delish. So on top of my little last piece, I'm going to put some chopped onion. No, yeah, the onion. A little bit of onion again, but it's onion. You don't want it, don't put it. And I have a slice of Jarlsberg Light. This is two points a slice. So I'm just going to tear it and sprinkle it over my pastrami. And now you could say you're going to put that in the oven to heat up. I'm not. But I'm going to put some warm sautéed garlicky cabbage on top. You know, I'm addicted to garlicky cabbage. And when you think about it, for two points, this is quite a, oh, quite a lot of cheese. I mean, look at all that. It's going to, and you're going to get cheese in every bite, which, you know, sometimes we don't always do that because we're just. All right, let's do Okay, and then I'm gonna put some of this sauteed cabbage that I just sauteed. Now, if you already have it in the fridge, maybe you can, I, I wanted it warm, that's why I'm, you know, I'm having it now, the cabbage to be warm. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it like your slaw or your um, sauerkraut, but this is not, so this is just garlicky cabbage that I just made with cabbage, salt, pepper, and garlic, and a crap ton of garlic. Again, this is a zero point item. You could be as liberal as you like. And the heat from this is going to melt my cheese. I mean, look at that. This is, <laughs> I'm gonna need a fork for this. I mean, look at that. So yeah, now if you want to put more mustard, you can. I'm not going to. I will put a little bit of pepper. The salt is in the cabbage. There's salt on the, you know, pastrami, so I don't really need any more salt. But yep, that's my lunch. A little more onion because, you know, if you know me, it's obvious that I like onion. This is sweet onion, of course. I don't like sour onion. But this is my lunch today. Points, one point for the lavash, one point for the pastrami, and two points for the cheese. So my lunch is four points. That's a lot of food. And it's going to be so good. I can't wait to dig in. Now, you could cut it like a pizza. I just pick it up and eat like a tostada. Yes, it's messy, but, you know, mess is good. I wouldn't take this to work. But, yeah, what a great, great lunch. So, that is your next installment of Flatbread Lunches. This is how I eat it. Just in case. Time for another flatbread. It is Friday, so we're gonna make a, I don't know, I was thinking tuna pizza. Tomato sauce, tuna, cheese, onion. Sounded good to me, so I thought I'd bring it to you. So let's get started making our next installment of our flatbread. All right, I just use the back of my pan to slide my flatbread on. I have a flatbread, a Notorious Mini Lavash for one point, the whole grain. Remember, there is a coupon code below for you to get, I think it's 15% off from them who are on their website. You also can find these at some of your local stores. If you're interested, you can go on their website, which is linked, and check out the product locator and see where you can find a Torius near you if you don't want to order online. All right, we're going to put some tomato sauce. This is my homemade pizza sauce I did a few weeks back on meal prep. It is up on my website, Dish with D. Dot com. Everything is on dishwithd.com these days. So spread it around. That's good. This is zero points. 
It's homemade. You know what's in it. It's delicious. It is a no cook pizza sauce. So I'm going to put half a can of some tuna. I don't know how much protein is in a can of tuna. It's a lot, but I'm, not, I'm using half the can because I think that's enough for this. But I mean, seriously, you can do extremely well with tuna. Such good high protein. Entree, snack, lunch. And it's very light, it's tuna. And Fridays and Lent, we, you know, it's just an excuse to eat more fish, which there's nothing wrong with that. Again, if you want to use the whole can, you can go right ahead. You can even make it into a hack wrap if you want to make a tuna melt, which might be fun too. Maybe next week we'll do a tuna melt with mayo and pickles and lettuce and you know, but I felt like I never had a tuna pizza. I thought that just sounded interesting. Again, that's how we do. We experiment and see how things go. All right, that's good. Like it stops. Like, oh, I'll make another little. There we go. Okay. And again, you know, I'm, if I had pe bell peppers, I do have sweet peppers. We may I can always put those on. That'd be really good. I think I have them in the fridge. Let's see, because I love peppers and onions. You know. And these are, of course, sweet Vidalia onions. I always use those. I'm not a huge fan of the purple or the red ones. I think they're just. Well, we sometimes are hit or miss whether they're sweet or not. Sometimes they're sweet, sometimes they're not. Let's see if I have any peppers. Sometimes we have peppers. I have jardinere, which I think would be fantastic. You know what? Maybe we'll put the jardinere on top and we pull it out. I don't see any peppers. But I do see some sun dried tomatoes, so I'll put a couple of them on. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I see it. They are. Not a relish. Jalapenos, they'll work. Okay, this over. And let's dice some of these. These are not packed in oil, they are just dried, so you don't have to worry about points for these. But always, you know, check. I thought that'd be really good. I enjoy sun dried tomatoes. Again, anything that's a vegetable. I mean, a fresh tomato would be good too. But of course, I don't think I would bake it. <laughs> I like my fresh tomatoes to be tomatoes. All right. Okay, my oven is preheating to 400. I'm just going to throw a few of these on here. You know, you don't have to. I just think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun. I do have my Trader Joe's light mozzarella, so a quarter cup is two points, but I don't use a quarter, quarter cup. I think it's honestly, I'm not a huge cheese lover. I mean, fun fact. So I'm just going to put half of that for one point, just to bind it and hold it all together. There we go. All right, we're going to bake it now again. I'm not going to sit there and tell you how long because everyone's oven is different. You stay there, you watch it, you see these edges get really crispy. That's when you take it off. So like I said, every, I'm going to slide it onto the rack. So I'll come back and we will show you the done product. And there you go. Look how good that looks. I'm going to top it with this little Kinder's seafood blend that I hauled from the Dollar Tree. Because, you know, if you see Kinder's at the DT, you need to pick it up. It's a good brand and a Dollar Tree five is a good deal. Oh, that smells like, oh, that smells better than Old Bay. Mmm. I haven't even opened it yet. Oops, the side. A little seasoning. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. So, you know, minimal ingredients. The points, one for the cheese and one for the flatbread. Everything else is zero points. So I'm going to have some chips with that because I can afford to. So that's next ish, next installment of our flatbread lunches. Just showing you how creative you can get with a piece of flatbread. It's simple easy and stuff that you have around your house you can make this flatbread too time for another flatbread this one i'm getting really creative now leftover chinese food on my flatbread 
I just had an idea. I thought it sounded really interesting. I had shrimp and veggies steamed with the brown sauce on the side. So I figured, why not chop that up and put it on my flatbread? Let's go. All right, on my plate, I have my leftovers. There's broccoli and some veg. This is, I think, a bamboo shoot, onion, shrimp, mushrooms, squash, mushrooms. So I'm going to chop all this up. And we're going to put it on our flatbread with some the G Hughes. Uh, I, well, I mean, we have the sauce that it's in, but I feel like it needs a little bit more. So we're going to put some maybe G Hughes teriyaki. I'm not going to put any cheese on it. I don't think it needs cheese. But we're going to give this a nice, nice, pretty good chop. And I'll grab my toasted flatbread. So I have my toasted flatbread that I just toasted in the oven. I put it on for maybe 400 degrees for maybe two minutes. I, I watch it because you don't want it to get burnt. I'm using the G Hughes sweet chili sauce. Two tablespoons is zero points. I thought it would go really good with my Chinese. I did heat up my Chinese food um, very slightly to get the chill off of it. I don't want it steaming hot, but I didn't want it ice cold either. So this is plenty of sauce. We're just going to spread it all over. Crust, end to end, crust to crust, as they say on the Food Network. But I am not the Food Network. There we go. And remember, I have a little bit of sauce. What's left on here? This is all zero points other than the sauce that I have on there, which honestly is very mild, microscopic. So we're just going to put this on here. Oh, look at that. I have just, oh, this is, again, how do you just make leftovers fantastic? Throw it on a flatbread. Yes, please. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I am, I amaze myself. There's a few kernels of brown rice, but not even enough to worry about. Look at that. <gasps> I don't know. This is like so good. So now I, I do have some, let me see if I can find it. There it is. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Some furikake. This is like a Japanese um, multi-purpose seasoning. You know, it's Chinese, Japanese. I know they're different, but I thought it would go really good on top. It's a little bit of a nice little, oh my goodness. <gasps> this is just, it's just beautiful. Oh my God. I feel, I feel like on this video, D, you did it again because that's absolutely fantastic. What a way to revamp leftovers. And how many points is this, D? Uh, maybe two. It's one for the flatbread, but if, if you make me count that sauce that my food was in, which you saw was microscopic, I don't know. But um, the G Hughes was zero for two tablespoons. It's five calories. So yeah, I can't wait to dig into this. Shall we, shall we taste it? I think we should. Now you could cut it in half. Maybe I should do that because it's, it looks, did you see how cute it looks? I don't know. Did you see it? Did you see that? I mean, oh, I will insert the picture that I use for the thumbnail because it's beautiful and it's leftovers. You can do it in fours. This would make great nachos. Nachos, like using wontons. Oh, this needs, I think this needs to be a thumbnail. <sighs> you could put, before I forget. Wait a minute, one more thing. That's how we roll here. That is how I roll. I always think of something last minute. That would be really, really good on this. Sesame oil! Yeah, I need to measure this because You know, a little goes a long way. It says you need like a quarter of a teaspoon. And that is it. Because this stuff, I've been putting some back, is extremely strong. This is not a cooking oil. It is a finishing oil. If you didn't know that, I've never cooked. I know people that cook with, I'm like, why? It, it, it smokes. It's, it, it's, it's a topper. All right, now let's see.
Oops, I did it again. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this. Leftovers. Get a new get a new lift. How is that? I mean that last one, I mean was that not epic? Putting your leftover Chinese food on a flatbread? And those G Hughes sauces. Oh my gosh, they are phenomenal and i'm finding them more and more when i go to the store because before i could only find like the barbecue sauce but now i'm getting all the fun different ones and i am loving every one of them they're so good and what a great base you know for your flatbread and that pastrami that's hillshire farms pastrami i got that from miss nikki gets fit she makes her reuben bowls with it and it, yeah for one point that's a lot of you know i weighed it out it's pretty good it's really it's very thin you know, it's very thin, so it's fantastic. That, with that garlicky cabbage. Now you could use sauerkraut, or if you wanted to put the points in and use coleslaw, you could, but I make that sauteed cabbage. You can even get like a bag of a coleslaw mix and, and saute it up if you wanted to use that. That would work as well, but everyone, was like I said, the tuna one on the tomato sauce. I'm thinking, is this gonna work? It was, it just was good, it's, and again, different. Like you keep foods differently and they're low on point. And again, it makes your journey fun. Like I'm not eating the same foods day in and day out. It, or maybe it is the same food, but you put it in a vehicle like that with a couple different toppings or a couple, like a sauce that's different, changes up completely. And that's what keeps you on plan. People say, D, how are you on plan so long? I change up my food. I get inventive. I think about something. I take advantage of a G Hughes low point sauce. And what were they all like zero for the amount that I used? Come on, people. It's, 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 you know, it's a good deal. And some I toasted, some I toasted with the toppings on, but I always say, keep your eye because they'll burn. You do have to, like, you can't just put it in there and go walk away and do something else. I put it in there and I'm hanging around and I check it just to make sure I don't want it to be too done or overdone or not done enough. So definitely keep your eye on them, but fantastic. This was an epic week. We had the epic week of breakfasts in the Dash mini rice cooker and lunches in the, with the flatbreads. I was absolutely double filming those days. <laughs> yeah, but if, if you're watching this, I am sailing the seven seas right now. I am probably on my way to Florida. So, but I wanted to put this video up this week so you'd have it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We are making food like that. And you should be making it too. Because that's how you stay in your journey. Eat the food you love. Love what you eat. Don't be getting something because it's low on point. You're not going to like it. And, do, and don't say, I'm going to eat this because I don't want to eat that. And eat, have like a microscopic amount of it. Yeah. If it's this big, you're not going to taste it. That's why I like big and bold go big or go home that's what we that's what we say around here at dish with d so thank you for watching if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button join us here at dish with d we have a fantastic facebook group dish with d's crew linked down below so join us there as well i will dish with you another day i'm not sure what's coming next because i don't know i think probably what i eat in a day will come out on tuesday because i do have that to go up I may be, you know, I may be laying somewhere on some beach, but I'm still giving you fantastic content because that's what I do here. I take care of my peeps. I will dish with you later. Thanks for watching.